Today we're in development engineering, uh, learning just a little bit about cooking with efficient cook stoves made all over the world. The class is called Design, Evaluate and Scale Development Technologies. And the idea is to combine engineering technologies with economic and business and impact analysis. About half of the world's population, three billion people, cook on dirty, smoky and inefficient stoves using solid fuels, mostly biomass. The smoke from the stoves kills about four million people a year. And one of the biggest challenges that we face as stove designers is improving these stoves so that we can reduce particulate emissions. Mostly these deaths are women who are cooking and their infants who are next to them. We have stoves that are being used in Uganda and Sudan and Ethiopia and so forth. Some of them were designed here at Berkeley, the Berkeley Darfur stove. And we're giving a chance to combine both observation and use of the sensor data. The stove that these students are trying out now uh, was developed in close iterative cooperation with women cooks in Darfur refugee camps in Sudan. And the version that they're testing is a 14th iterative version, it's V14. And we have tens of thousands of these stoves in daily use in Darfur refugee camps now. It's one of the successful designs, very successful. And you can see how hard it is for students, really bright Berkeley students, without experience to light stoves, to get the stove started. Of course, they are trying it out in the rain, which is not a common situation in Darfur, which is in the desert. But nevertheless, it gets them a flavor of the real world challenges. This experiment today with different cook stoves was to demonstrate the complexity and reality of actually doing field experiments. So some of the students were cooks. They had to learn how to cook with a cook stove outside. Some of them were design researchers that did the interviews, the qualitative methods, and the observations. And then we also had thermal couples in the stoves to collect quantitative data. And then we're going to have data researchers pull together all this data and make recommendations about variations in the different cook stoves data and try to understand what the difference was. A complete solution is going to combine the engineering approach, a more efficient stove, one that creates less pollution inside the home, and a business model to sell it to the billion folks who need a safer cook stove. We want to affect positively the lives of the bottom three billion people, economically speaking, on the planet, which means the stove has to be affordable, high performing, and meet the user expectations. I feel like with my engineering background and the things that I've learned, I have these skills that I can use to help people who may not have the knowledge or experience to come up with things like this for themselves. And so I feel like by doing it, I can make an impact in these people's lives and really, really help improve their lives. Improving stoves leads to the benefits to the health of these billions of people who are also the poorest on the planet and also leads to uh, indirect benefits to the climate from reduced black carbon or black soot that goes up in the atmosphere. What I find really enriching about this class is the engagement of the students and the fact that they really care about impact and doing good in the world. 